Dear viewers, today in carbohydrates we will study pyranose, furanose, anomeric carbon, anomers and muta rotation. So today in this we will study cyclic structure of monosaccharides. In our previous video we have studied only open chain of monosaccharides. So we have seen structure of glucose, fructose and many other monosaccharides in open chain form. If you want to see this video, I have given the link of that video in description box of this video. So let's take an example. This is alkyl aldehyde. When alkyl aldehyde react with alcohol in presence of acid, it will give you hemiacetal. How it will give you hemiacetal? We know that oxygen is carrying a partial negative charge. So this negative charge will abstract this hydrogen and it will give you hydroxyl group. And this OR, oxygen has negative charge here. This negative oxygen will attack on this carbon which is containing partial positive charge and it will give you OR. So finally you will get hemiacetal. So what happen if hydroxyl group and aldehyde groups are present in same molecule? Your this oxygen will attack on this carbon and give you cyclic hemiacetal form. You will get this cyclic hemiacetal in presence of acid. So now we will study cyclic form present in monosaccharide. In our previous video, we have seen that glucose, fructose, they are present in open chain form. So now we will study how cyclic ring formed in monosaccharides. So D-glucose exists both in open chain form as well as in this cyclic form. So this is Howard projection of D-glucose. Okay and it indicate the configuration at each chiral center okay so you can see here this d glucose contain aldehyde group at first position when this aldehyde group react with the fifth carbon hydroxyl group it will give you a cyclic structure so you can see here in this form your this hydroxyl group so the oxygen is reacting on this carbon 1 because oxygen has negative charge and carbon 1 has a partial positive charge and you will get this closed form okay so this closed form is called pyranose ring why it is called pyranose ring if you know the structure of pyran ring pyran ring contain a six membered cyclic structure and contain one oxygen in its ring structure so D glucose can exist in both cyclic form as well as in open chain form. But the majority of product exist in cyclic form. In equilibrium, very small amount or very trace amount of open chain is present. So mostly D glucose exists in a closed ring structure. Okay. So now we will see how cyclic structure formed and what happened at this carbon. Okay, so when your base will abstract this hydrogen, your oxygen which carry negative charge will attack on carbon which is having a partial positive charge and now this oxygen will abstract hydrogen and it will give you hydroxyl group. So now one stereo center is creating here at carbon 1 position. You can see hydroxyl group are present on left side and hydroxyl group are present on right side. So one chiral center is formed at pyran carbon 1 position. This carbon 1 is now called anomeric carbons. And stereoisomer formed from this anomeric carbon is called anomers. Okay. So two kind of anomers are formed. One is alpha anomers and one is beta anomers. What is alpha anomers? When your hydroxyl group at carbon 1 present trans to the CH2OH group which is present on carbon fifth so this is sixth position CH2OH then it is called alpha D glucopyranose okay so here you can see hydroxyl group is present opposite to CH2OH group which is on carbon fifth position so this is alpha D glucopyranose while in beta D glucopyranose your hydroxyl group at one position is present on same side CH2OH group which is on carbon fifth position. 
so this is called beta d glucopyranose because both groups are present on same side and in cis configuration so this is beta d glucopyranose so here in this figure i have represented so these are present trans to each other it is called alpha anomers and here it is present cis to each other this is called beta anomers so both alpha d glucopyranose and beta d glucopyranose differ in their physical property because both are diastereomerics in nature okay so if you can see here alpha d glucopyranose when you dissolve alpha d glucopyranose in water and if you will take specific rotation of pure alpha d glucopyranose you will find specific rotation 112.2 degree but slowly this alpha d glucopyranose is converted into beta anomers and when equilibrium reach then at time if you will take specific rotation you will find specific rotation 52.6 degree similar thing happened with beta d glucopyranose if you will take pure beta d glucopyranose and dissolve it in water and take specific rotation you will find the specific rotation plus 18.7 degree and slowly now it will converting into equilibrium and when equilibrium reach and at that time you will take specific rotation you will find specific rotation plus 52.6 degree so your alpha d glucopyranose is converting into beta d beta d is converting into alpha d okay this rotation is called muta rotation and this rotation happen via open chain form for example alpha d glucopyranose it will open and convert into open chain form then open chain form is convert into beta d glucopyranose another cyclic form so this is the conversion of alpha d to beta d and beta d to alpha d and the process is called muta rotation and this process occur rapidly in presence of catalytic acid or base so up to now we have studied about uh, pyranose ring and uh, we have given power projection power projection are good for showing configuration but it is not effective for giving conformation of compound okay so here you can see just hydroxyl group we have represented present upward downward upward downward so this is haver projection but actually d glucose exist in chair form in space okay so d glucose exist in chair form and here you can see hydroxyl groups are present equatorial equatorial or axial position so this is the correct way to represent d glucose so now we will study furanose form of monosaccharide so here you can see this is hydroxyl aldehyde now when this hydroxyl group will react on this carbon first it will give you cyclic hemiacetal form and this is five membered ring which contain oxygen so this five membered ring which contain oxygen is called furan ring so from furan this furanose name come so now we will take example d fructose d fructose contain carbonyl at second position if hydroxyl group at fifth position will react on this carbon which is present on second position it will give you a five membered furanose ring okay you will get this structure but sometime in fructose carbon 6 hydroxyl group also react with carbon 2 at this time it will give you a pyranose ring six membered ring with oxygen so d fructose exist in equilibrium as an open chain form it can exist in pyranose which contain six membered ring and furanose which contain five membered ring and we know in each ring there is a alpha and beta anomers so pyranose also has alpha and beta and furanose also has alpha and beta so if you dissolve b fructose in water and you will study what concentration these are present you will study that 70% of 
present in beta pyranose that means six membered ring with the beta anomers and two present with alpha pyranose 23 percent with beta furanose means five membered ring and five percent with alpha furanose and 0.7 percent in open chain form so here you can see d fructose exists in majority in beta pyranose form but whenever we show synthetic biosynthetic or biochemical pathway we show d fructose in beta furanose form okay so this is all about pyranose and furanose ring and its formation thank you for watching the video